This is morning two at the uh, rendezvous in the Ozarks and it is cold and windy. I thought I was gonna get blowed away last night. I'm glad I staked the take tent down as good as I did. It uh I thought they was gonna find me in a tree this morning. It was it was crazy. Oh man, I had to take my tarp and make a little wind block. Of course, as soon as I start filming, the wind stops. <laughs> but man, look at that sky. And it's nice out here. It's actually really quiet for as number many as people is out here. It was quiet last night as well. Tonight's supposed to be a concert though, so it uh, it might be a little different. But uh, 10 o'clock, I believe, we're supposed to go hit the trails again. It's supposed to be a yesterday was a moderate, so I think today's supposed to be an easy, if I remember right. Shouldn't take but a couple of hours. So I'm fixing to heat me up some breakfast and uh, get ready for the day. I'll bring you back when we hit the trail. Uh, trailhead. This is only supposed to last about an hour, so we'll see. It's supposed to be some tight, tight fitting uh, trails for, especially for us longbow based guys. So hopefully we'll have some good footage and no body damage. But you know, it's, if so it's part of it. So Ooh, ears stopped up. I have seen, I guess they're having a car show up here too, because I just passed a Keurig, Keurig, something. I've got a little supercar. I think it was awesome. That and uh, a nice BMW. It was all tricked out. But uh, I don't know if we can run across the, uh, the car show. I might stop and do some filming there too. I'll bring you back. Taking a left turn, left turn. When we get to the trailhead. I admire your creation for how great you are um, for being able to see the large, but also being able to see the minute as well and how you created us. Uh, Father, I just pray for this convoy as we go out um, that there would be no stress, no anxiety, um, that it would be a safe travel through and through. Um, and that, it, again, that it would all be to your glory for everything that comes about. So, Father, if we lift this all up in your Son's name, Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you mean we're broken it's tragic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could have it and i know of sadness the anxious and panic the infinite vastness of all that is blackness
Mini Cooper with a rooftop tent. That's something you don't see every day right there. That's pretty cool. Set up for overlanding. That's awesome. Hey, this is uh, Alan with Extrusion Overland, and uh, I'm showing uh, the uh, XTR1 bed rack. Uh, a lot of times we get asked what is the difference between the XTR1 and the XTR3. So the XTR1 has four uprights in total, and two crossbars, versus the XTR3 will have six uprights and three crossbars. Uh, if I said that right. <laughs> XTR1, four uprights, XTR3, six uprights. And uh, you know it's a matter of preference. A lot of times the the weight capacity is a little better on the XR3, but it's also a little bit heavier. So it's a trade-off. And because we're using 30% more components, it's also 30% more expensive. So it's like I said, it's a matter of preference. This one, for example, it's a more economic way to get into access gates and, and slide outs. Uh, a lot less components. You do get get the whole you know section to get into the bed. And, retrieve your stuff uh, so really really good option as well in terms of capability and, and uh, modularity what's the weight rating on the one versus the three so off-roading uh, it's rated it also depends on the platform but we normally right. rate it at uh, 450 pounds for off-road on the XCR1 and up to 500 pounds on the XCR3 oh, on the rooftop well, in terms of like going off road, when you have it all loaded up between oh, all the gear, and okay. Now, if it's, if it's sleeping. stationary, fifteen hundred pounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Look up, look up and uh, you know, there's an on road, but that you know, that's just going on the, on the highway or whatever. You know, eight hundred pounds, but that's shock load, irrelevant. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's right. So. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. You can flash your lights all night long, you ain't getting squat that far away. And I think I warned y'all keep your kids on the leash before we started. All right, next up we're going to have the grand poop ball of the overland world other than Randy Putt. And uh, he's got a killer hairstyle tonight. Matt, where are you at? Not here. What are you doing back there? I'm close as I wanted to get. That's not good. Hey, you gotta dance. The song says dance. Well, we are very excited that we get to pull companies uh, like Milestar Tires. And I had a meeting with them earlier this year, and one of the things they said is they wanted to give us a set of tires to be able to give away. And as soon as they said that, he said, you can give away wherever you want to, and knew that this is where we wanted to do this. So we've been pumped about being here at Rendezvous all year long. And so what we have to give away is a complete set of tires, which means a set of five, not four. It can be the new MTO2s. It could be the new XTs, up to size 37. So who wants to win a full set of tires? It is a gift certificate. We did not have, you know, a truckload of, of tires. <laughs> it is last four digits. Eight, zero, nine, one. Eight, zero, nine, one. Oh, there we go. He looks so excited to win tires. <laughs> All right, now it's four tires. Three tires. 
Bunch of nice stuff here. I'm going to have. Who can we get? Who wants to be a volunteer right now? Who wants to be a volunteer because? But it's not a kid. I can't trust kids to deliver packages to goods. Okay, I don't even trust FedEx. Where's Jordan at? Jordan, get up. Put your shoes on. This is Randy Putt's daughter. Oh, I'll let you do one too. You go out there. Are you, are you single? All right. How old are you? All right. If you are a male between 15 and 17, you're welcome, Dad. That's cute. Stand up. Nobody else sit down. Okay. I just got word that her dad will kill me. So if you are a male with a teenage daughter, and don't want her to talk to boys, stand up. All right, we'll pick one of them. And we have the injuries to Jordan. Let's say hey, let's give you guys a game. Let's hear it. Jordan, your dad's going to like this, your boyfriend's going to hate it. Thank you. You can give this to anyone that doesn't have a super. What a Yeti. Good morning, everybody. This is morning three, day four of rendezvous in the Ozarks. And everybody's packing up. I done got basement camp packed up, had my breakfast. Just walking around. Just talking to folks, uh, telling everybody bye that I met. This has been an outstanding event. I've had a lot of fun. Met a lot of great people. Uh, got some good experience. And uh, if you're able to next year, I highly, highly suggest you come out here. It, uh, man, it was it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. But it's about that time to load up and head out get back home so i'll see y'all next time <laughs>